what's up guys it's your girl jade and i am back with another video for you guys so my untouchables my untouchable friends it's been a while since i've posted a video and trust me i have a lot that's going to explain that in this video right here so i am gonna this video is gonna be an update video basically and i'm gonna be updating you guys on a lot of things that happened which is why i haven't posted and i know that you know i tend to go mia for a while but once i get finished with this video you're gonna understand why i disappeared for as long as i did and i can't expl explain everything in this video for certain reasons but i'll tell you most of it anyway if you're ready let's begin okay guys so i'm outside walking my dog so that's why it looks a little different and so if you guys see me squinting and stuff it's because it's really bright out here so but i just really wanted to explain to you guys why i didn't post my birthday vlog video and doing makeup while intoxicated um you're gonna have to wait on that makeup while intoxicated video, you're gonna have to wait on that one because everything that I'm about to explain in this video is why I haven't done that video. And the birthday vlog is still gonna come up, but there's just gonna be, I might have to like, I'm just gonna show you snippets and pieces of what's gonna happen. Um, because my birthday party kind of got stopped. And so, <laughs> I didn't really get to, you know, because there was certain parts I was going to vlog and certain parts I was going to do. But because of certain things, it just didn't happen. So, you know, um, things happen and you can't control them or you have slightly evil siblings <laughs> that want to take over and destroy your life. But either way, you're going to get your update now. Come Max. Sorry, guys, if I do that sometimes because he's he's a little stubborn so anyway basically what happened is the morning of my birthday we, we all know that we have corona and you're supposed to you know corona is here and you know we're supposed to um we're supposed to be six feet apart and we're supposed to wear masks and whatever and the only reason i'm not wearing my mask right now is because there's literally nobody out here nobody's usually out here on sunday mornings so i usually have nothing to worry about but if there is a person out here you know i stay on the other side of the street so that i don't come in contact with people in any way or fashion just to be safe but yeah so you know we don't you know we're supposed to do all that so i had already made plans like a week or two in advance that i was going to go to this karaoke bar i had mentioned this multiple times not only to my friend, but to my mother. Cause she and my sister are gonna be the main focal points of the part the problem with this daggone story. So I tell my mom, you know, I'm like, hey, we're gonna go to a karaoke bar. They have a private room just for us. There's not gonna be any issues. They keep us separated from everybody else, you know, to be safe. They check our temperatures, which they ended up doing. Um you have to wear your mask at all times everywhere else around the building. But if you go to like the party room, you don't have to wear your mask because it's just y'all in there, you know, whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, this sounds fun. And I've always wanted to do a karaoke bar and eat Korean food and, you know, ex enjoy it, enjoy my time, whatever. So I was like, this would be a perfect 21st birthday gift. Hold on, Max. And sorry for the cars passing by. So then, really? Okay. So then, of course, you know, I go out, you know, I've been explaining this to my mom and then some other things that we were talking about was like me getting a tattoo because I've always wanted to get a tattoo. And they thought that I was only getting a tattoo because my friends, one of my friends has a tattoo. I was like, no, I've been said this for years. I wanted a tattoo. And so I talked to them about it respectfully, you know, grown up to grown up and they said that it's fine that I can get my tattoo I just gotta wait until the the corona deaths and stuff die down a little bit 
So I was like, okay, whatever, sure. Then, back to the party. So we discuss it, and, you know, my mom and dad, my mom was really the one who was like, you know, we just got to make sure it's okay with your dad. And my dad was like, well, it don't matter to me as long as you're safe and you guys take care of yourselves and you guys don't do anything crazy or whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. So... I had already discussed with my aunt that I was probably going to end up sleeping at her house after the party or whatever. So, fast forward to the day of the party. Whoa, that's a hornet. Oh, no. Sorry. I don't do well with bugs and especially not freaking hornets. That thing is big and red and I don't want any part of it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry. So, yeah, we skipped to the day of the party, right? My mom, all the week the week of the party, she's been telling me. She's like, I don't know if you should do it. The corona deaths are really racking up. They're getting really high. You know, they're getting crazy. Whatever, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I understand that. But, you know, people have already taken off work at this time. Like, a few people, a few of my friends have already taken off work. People are telling me that they're going to come. So I'm like, I don't know if that's such a good idea to cancel because I don't want these people to be mad at me. Because people always get mad at me when they're like, oh, Jaden, don't be playing this stuff to the last minute, whatever, whatever. And I was not about to deal with that again. So, and also for those who don't know, usually something bad happens on my birthday every year. There has not been one year where something bad has not happened on or around my birthday. Something always happens and it always makes me really mad because either people don't show up something embarrassing happens to me or somebody ruins it in some way or fashion that always happens and it screws up my whole day or whatever so this particular time I'm like okay things are finally going together things are finally going into place things are finally going to be for once I'm going to have a birthday that doesn't go bad or go horrible or makes me want to scream cry or get angry no of course, that's not what happens. My freaking birthday turned into a complete disaster. Like, at the end of my birthday party, I was enraged at the whole thing. So, you know, we go. It's the day of my birthday, so I'm waking up. I'm excited. I'm super happy, whatever. So, I'm, you know, I get up and my mom comes to wake me up. Well, she doesn't wake me up because I'm already up. But she comes upstairs and she's like, happy birthday. How do you feel, my 21-year-old? And I'm like, I feel great. I feel awesome. You know, whatever. And then she's like, I don't think you should do the party. You're going to tell me this the day of the party? She's like, I really think you should cancel it. I really think you guys should do like a virtual party, like a Zoom party. First of all, I don't have the app. Second of all, what sense does that make? A virtual Zoom party? Are you kidding me? Third of all... First of all, first of all, first of all, forget the forget the whole Zoom party because that was not going to happen regardless. You want me to tell all these people who canceled work, who got off work, the person who's driving us, and you want me to tell all the people who decided that they were going to, you know, come, that I'm just going to cancel it? Now, I know that to some people that may seem like, well... Yeah, she's just trying to look out for you. I understand that. But the people also told us that they were not letting nobody in without masks and that they were going to be super, super, super sanitized and everything. So, and then I felt bad, you know, because people took off work. People canceled, you know, people took off work for my party to spend time with me and all this other stuff. And I did not want to feel or in turn hurt anybody else or make anybody mad so i was like no i'm gonna go so she tries to tell me to cancel it then she tries to suggest to me like oh well you might need to go somewhere else instead of the karaoke bar so i was like okay what about bahama reese because they just happen to be open and she's like yeah well maybe if you eat outside if the place is too packed so i was like okay cool if the place is too packed we'll go to bahama breeze and i'll let you know but when we got there the place wasn't packed but I'm, I'm skipping too far ahead. So then, after all that happens, we have a conversation. And then she leaves for work. My dad gives me some birthday money, but I didn't get it until Wednesday. 
because I transferred it into my account on Wednesday, but that's a whole nother story. Um, so then she has my aunt call me who tries to tell me to cancel too. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to cancel. But I should have known if they were ke if they kept telling me to cancel that I knew this was going to be a bad birthday. I should have known that it was going to be a bad birthday if this all, all this crap was happening. So then to make matters worse, you know, I'm getting ready for the party and my friend who was driving us, he tells me, he calls me to tell me like, hey, I don't know. I'm not feeling very well. I'm like, oh, what's going on? He's like, I was working, you know, I was working and I've been working in the heat. You know, I work 40 hours a day, whatever, in the heat. So I'm like, yeah, I get that. I understand. So he's like, I felt like really tired and exhausted. And so he's like, I had to go home early from work. I was like, oh, that's not good. You know, I was like genuinely concerned because I was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Like, are you going to feel well, Max? Like, are you going to be okay? Are you going to? He's like, I was like, you don't need to go like to the doctor or anything, right? I was like, there's nothing. Like, I was talking to him, trying to see like what his symptoms were, everything else. He didn't have COVID. He didn't have none of that. He was just thoroughly exhausted because of the fact that he was like sick or whatever. I mean, not sick. He was thoroughly exhausted because he had been working in that heat, you know, and you know, it gets hot here. It gets really like humid here. So I was like, okay. So he tells me he's going to take a nap. He took an iron pill because he felt like his iron was a little low. So I was like, okay, cool. So he's like, I'll call you back a little later if I'm feeling better. And then we'll just go from there. So I'm like, cool, awesome, whatever. So then, oh, Jesus. So then I'm, it's like, at this point, it's like four o'clock now. So I'm like, okay, let me get dressed and get ready because we got to meet people at the place at 730, whatever, whatever. So we go to the place. I mean, we go, I'm getting dressed and he calls me and he's like, hey, so I just threw up. I'm like, you threw up from what? And I was like, he's like, my, like, he's like, i am really, really like, he's like, I tried taking the, you know, I took the pill. He's like, I drank a bunch of water and then I ended up throwing up. I was like, oh, wow. So maybe it's not your iron. Maybe you're just really, really like exhausted or something. And he's like, yeah, maybe. And I was like, oh, wow. I was like, you really don't feel good, huh? And so like, we were trying to figure out something because we still had to go get, my boyfriend and my other friend because you know we knew like we're possibly not going to be in any position to drive so he's going to be the driver or whatever so so of course what happens so we're trying to figure this out so i'm calling my boyfriend and calling my other friend to tell her you know tell them both what's going on push comes to shove the guy calls me back and he's like you know what this is your you know he's like I can push through I'll be fine he's like as long as I you know I'm gonna try to take some more I'm gonna just try to drink some water I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do any of the he's like I'm not gonna drink I'm not gonna do anything because I don't want to risk me you know feeling exhausted or anything again so I'm like okay cool and I was like, I kept asking him, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you're going to be okay? He's like, yeah, I'm fine. I promise I'm going to be okay. I was like, oh, okay. So then he tells me he's on his way to come get me in a few. So, you know, I'm like, all right. So as that happens, little did I know that my sister was eavesdropping on my conversation. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say I didn't know because I partially knew she was eavesdropping because I had, she, like me, when me and him were talking about how he threw up, she kept coming in that room. She kept coming in the room. Every time I would walk out of one room and go to another, she'd be following me like a lost freaking puppy, trying to eavesdrop on my conversations. And I'm telling her to go away and stop. You can't be in grown folks business. And she don't want to listen to people. She just loves to be nosy. So I'm like, okay. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of you. So I finished the conversation up real quick and I end up telling him like, okay, I'll see you later. So I'm getting dressed and she's talking about, oh, I'm going to, she's like, I'm going with you. And 
um, one of my wearings at the party and she's just doing all this stuff to tick me off, you know, anno annoying me or whatever. So I'm like, you know what, child, I ain't got time to deal with you right now. So I get dressed, I get my to-go, I get my night bag for going to my aunt's house. And all of a sudden, you know, I get outside, she following me right behind me. I'm like, what are you doing? Go back in the house. What is wrong with you? She like wanna be super up on all on me. And I know some of y'all are gonna be like, well, she's your sister. She just feels bad because she wants to go. No, she is spoiled rotten and she thinks she can get anything she wants just because she, um, just because she's um, younger than me. Like she honestly is really spoiled. She's really, really spoiled. Like the, like a few days later, like a couple days ago, me and my dad were having a conversation about how he gave me birthday money. And she's like, I ain't getting no birthday money for my birthday. And I didn't get a birthday party. I'm like, Taylor, you didn't get a birthday party because when we, when it was April, we were still under quarantine, first of all. Second of all, you got a $13,000 computer and you're complaining that you didn't get birthday money, but you got a $13,000 computer. And you're complaining, seriously? Like, I didn't understand that. I was like, why are you complaining when you get everything handed to you? Like, are you kidding me right now? I was so upset with her. I was like, are you serious? Like, I don't want to hear that mess. Anyway, moving on. Sorry, that's jumping, jumping. Um, so moving on. So he finally gets there. He picks me up. So then we go pick up my boyfriend. And then, you know, we go get my other friend. And we stop at the, you know, the liquor store because it's my birthday, you know, and I wanted to purchase, you know, my first drink. I wanted to cross that off my list. Like, hey, I, I purchased my first thing. So I got something and I was super excited about it. And then, you know, we headed toward the place. Well, you know, you know, we were all talking and whatever on the way there so anyway we get there finally we got there a little late and so we got there and we get our room but before we even get our room the lady's checking our temperature she makes sure that we have our mask on she sanitized the whole room down for us and you know she's giving us the rundown of the stuff and whatever so we get in the room and we're having a great time you know we're enjoying ourselves whatever 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 and you know we we sing a couple songs i butchered some terribly <laughs> um me and my boyfriend we had some uh ramen and it was awesome because we had never had you know we had never had the ramen from the korean places before so it was fun it was really spicy but it was really it was really good and um you know, so then my friend was like, oh, you know, since it's your birthday, let me buy you a shot or two. And I was like, okay, cool. So, you know, she got me one. She got herself one. She got my friend one. And we took one all together. So I was like, cool. And then I got me another, like, smaller drink that wasn't, like, very, very... Honestly, it didn't even feel like it had any alcohol in it to begin with it was very like light so I was like okay cool whatever you know and so then we decided you know we were gonna get ready to wrap it up so then you know we're um we're trying to do some things and they wanted to go get some stuff for them because they wanted to do some stuff. They wanted to get like some snacks and whatever and some cups so we could, so I could do my birthday shots, whatever. So we're doing all this stuff, running to get all these things, whatever, whatever. Then my boyfriend, you know, he looks at my phone and he says, babe, your mom just texted you you got to go home. I was like, what are you talking about? And mind you guys, at this point, you know, I had had like the little, the other drink, the little shot, 
and like another shot of something and I'm like I'm buzzed I'm not fully drunk but I'm not sober either I'm like tipsy if that makes sense so of course I'm like what are you talking about and he's like your mom just texted you and said that you need to get your butt home now so then at that same time I'm looking at the text and I'm like what the heck is going on so I'm confused and so my aunt calls me and she's like hey you know what's going on I'm like I'm like I don't know what's going on I'm 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 like I'm getting ready to come to your house in a few what's the problem mind you it's like 12 something at this time so I was like I'm about to come to your house in a little bit and she's like well you can't come now you might as well just go back home I'm like go back home why and she's telling me she's like because your sister said something to your mom talking about one of your friends is sick and then she said that your mom had no idea that you were coming here and that you lied to her about going to the karaoke bar that you never said you were going there I was like when did I lie about that I always said I was going there I said if something changed that I wouldn't go there but things never changed so we still went there so I was confused it's Oh God, these men are talking in the background. So then I was confused and I was really upset because I was like, wait, what's going on? So she's, she's explaining the whole situation about how my sister was telling my mom all these things and making my mom get all mad at me for. So I was, so I, was, so I got super ticked off. Like I was like, I was enraged at this point. Cause I was like, my sister really just screwed up my entire party. She really just messed everything up. So we were just about to have a good time. We were going to play Uno. We were going to, um, cause the place, the karaoke bar didn't close till two. Um, so, you know, it didn't close till 2 AM, but we weren't going to stay there that long, but still it just really made me mad because we ended up rushing, you know, I had to rush to get all my stuff and to get, to get all my stuff together and I was really mad like I was really pissed like you can ask my boyfriend I broke down crying I was angry because everything was just ruined everything got messed up and all, all because my sister decided to do stupid stuff and tell my mom all these stupid things that weren't even fully accurate like she's telling my sister my sister telling my mom all these things that weren't accurate or whatever so my friend I had to go tell him and I felt really bad because him and my friend they were really clicking and I thought that you know they were gonna maybe possibly have a moment and they couldn't even have their moment because my sister messed up everything so I had to go talk to him and I was like hey you guys got to take me home like right now and so my friend she got mad at me and she started cussing me out she was like what's like she's like come on now she's like you need to plan these things more efficiently and I was like I did plan it efficiently I didn't expect my sister to do some stupid stuff like this and mess up the whole thing for you know everybody especially for myself and so she was just like yeah okay and she was wondering where this was and that was which I was like you know it's okay because you know we're all we are all upset and we all you know we're, we don't have a level head whatever whatever so we finally rush in to leave and I finally get home. So my boyfriend walks me up to the driveway and then he ends up going back so that they can take him home. And I'm literally super upset to the point where like, if I even see my sister, I might punch her in the mouth. Like I'm that mad. And so then I go up in my garage, I close the door, you know, the garage door. I'm trying to open the door and then I have acrylic nails. I've already lost a few, by the way. That's a long story, but I lost a few, but I didn't, I had all my nails that night. So I'm over here trying to fiddle to open the door because you know, these nails are long as heck and they're really, it's really hard to pick stuff up with these nails, especially keys. So I'm trying to fiddle, trying to get the key and my mom opens the door and she's like, just get your butt in here. But that's not what she said. She's, she said it more colorful than that. And she starts cussing me out the moment I walk through the door. Then she gonna ask me a question. And she's like, did you get drunk on purpose or something something like that? 
And I'm like, no. Like, in my head, I know I said no. But I probably said whatever. I don't know what I said anyway. So she was like, so you did this on purpose. I'm like, does it look like I did this on purpose? Like, I got really upset with her. Because I was like, you're really yelling at me for getting buzzed. When it's my first time drinking ever. I just turned 21. Everybody does crazy things on their 21st birthday. Like, you only turn 21 once. How am I supposed to know my limits if this is my first time actually drinking? Like, what? Like, I'm not going to lie and tell y'all, like, I haven't sipped on my mom's wine or my dad's wine coolers or whatever. Like, everybody's done that at least once. But the fact that she got mad at me for coming home buzzed and it's my first time drinking really and then she had the nerve to be like well I've been drunk twice before and even my dad said that he's been drunk once before but he wasn't even as mad as her he was just mad because of all the miscommunication he was just mad because of all the miscommunication with her he already knew that I was going to my aunt's house he already knew that I was going to Bahama Breeze I mean not Bahama Breeze to the the karaoke bar with my friend he already knew all this mess the fact that she was acting like she was brand new and she didn't know none of this is what frustrated me because I was like, we explained this to you already. So it was really frustrating, you know, because he he was trying to calm her down and he was trying to defend me and she was just going off. And I'm, mind you, I'm buzzed. So I'm already starting to get a headache and like I'm tired and I've been rushed home dealing with all this mess. So my aunt's trying to calm my mom down too because she had her on the phone for what reason, I don't know. And then she had threatened to call the cops for what, I don't know. Ugh. So then my aunt's just telling my mom like, hey, just let her take, let her sleep it off. Y'all do with it in the morning, whatever. So I go upstairs. My dad's trying to have a conversation with me and my sister keeps walking by and looking at me and smiling. I wanted to punch her so fast in her throat I wanted to punch her so hard y'all y'all don't understand I wanted to punch her in her throat but I digress point is after all that mess I ended up going to sleep really upset that night and it was just really rough it was a lot to deal with so I'm gonna end the video now. Okay guys, so I hope that gave you guys pretty much some explanation as to what happened on my birthday. It really, my sister really screwed up the birthday for everybody, like all of us were having a good time and she said all that crap that wasn't even, like she didn't even have the full facts. She was just mad and jealous because she couldn't come to a 21 year old plus party. Like what? You can't be everywhere little girl you're 12 like stay in a 12 year old's place and so she's been trying to make me mad lately so that she can ruin my birthday but I mean still make me mad so I can get into trouble I low-key think she's purposely trying to get me kicked out all I want to say is that is the reason why I didn't post the stuff about my birthday and the reason why oh it's hot the reason why I didn't post about my birthday and the reason I didn't do the other video, the makeup video, because I was just like, what's the purpose of it at this point? So you guys will still get the birthday vlog, but I'm gonna do a few gameplays and stuff and upload that stuff for y'all later today. Um, but I really hope that you guys, you know, get where I'm coming from with this. And I'm really sorry that I didn't post anything and that I went MIA for a few days, but I was really mad. So I needed time to cool off. So, I will see you guys in my next video.